The draw is important in IPSC shooting. It's important to be able to efficiently and quickly and consistently get the gun from the holster into your correct shooting grip and on the target as quickly as possible, no matter what your body start position is. Keep in mind that in competition you're going to see a lot of different stages. Sometimes you'll be standing upright, sometimes you may be standing leaning behind a barricade, sometimes your hand might be on that barricade, or the gun may be on a tabletop. There are a lot of different start positions to keep in mind. Make sure that when you're practicing, you diversify your start positions. Otherwise, when you come to competition, you'll encounter something you're not accustomed to. That'll make you feel unsure of yourself, and that's the surest way to fail on a stage. Build confidence through diversity in your practice. Everything you see in a match, you've seen and practiced before. That should be your goal. For me, one of the most important elements of the draw is to make sure that you get the right grip in the holster. The holster, the rig, the belt is so very important to make that possible and to make you consistent in obtaining the right draw in the holster. If your belt is not firm enough, if the holster is wobbling around as you move, you're going to end up being inconsistent with your grip on the gun. Since the gun is usually loaded, the way it comes out of the holster, most times is going to be the way you're going to have to shoot at least the first part of the stage. For consistency on the draw, you need to have the right equipment. You need to have the right belt, you need to have the right holster. It's so very important that the gun be seated exactly in the same position, exactly at the same angle, every time your shooting hand comes to the gun, so that when you start your draw and take the gun out the holster, you can obtain the exact correct grip every time. A rigid holster, a rigid belt is critically important for that. Part of why we insist on our Double Alpha Race Master gear and the Racer line to have an aluminum chassis, a solid holster that won't move. I've always found that one of the most important elements of the draw is to move both hands as symmetrically. When I go to the holster, I make sure that my left hand is moving in line with that right hand. In fact, it's mirroring the motion of the right hand. This is important to prevent your shoulders from pivoting. When you start speeding up the draw, if you leave your left hand on the side, your upper body starts shifting because of the mass of your arm moving quickly. Both hands moving together enables you to stay square and stable on that target and enables you a smoother draw. So my goal is always to try and get both hands moving consistently together and coming together in front of the body and indexing out to the target. Practice slow, increase your speed when your technique is smooth. Don't neglect the different start positions. As I mentioned earlier, nothing builds confidence more than experience. You should come to a competition and never be surprised by the starting positions. You want to make sure that you practice hands at sides, but also hands on the barricades, hands at surrender, hands may be crossed on your chest. You may be forced to start seated by a table with your hands flat on the table. So you want to practice the motion of standing up and drawing the gun at the same time. To build your skills on the draw, diversify, start slowly and build up your pace gradually and make sure your motion is correct and consistent. Don't practice making mistakes. Don't practice drawing too fast and getting a poor grip. Run at a lower speed and make sure you get the performance you want. And remember, nothing beats practice on the range.